Hello there, this is Dave Allen from Mac 20 Questions, and today I'm going to have a look at Mars Edit. Well, the first thing that you're going to want to do is to add a blog, so let's do that. So if we go to this one here, new blog, we could use Option Command N to do this, but let's just do it from the uh, menu. Let's put in a Wizard Gold blog. So as you can see, it's auto detecting the configuration for the Wizard Gold blog. This is going into a WordPress blog. On this occasion, Mars Edit wasn't able to auto detect the blog settings, but I think that could have been because the uh, WordPress details needed to be updated, and I've just done that. In the end, I had to put in the details for the blog manually. It wasn't too difficult. Now, in the first time I've clicked on refresh, it's asking me for the username and password, which I'm putting in there now. Okay, so this is my amazing iPad blog, and if I want to, I can go in there and edit settings for editing. I can set what the default is for the media, 600 by 600, and I can tell it to accept trackbacks or not, and whether comments are open or not. As for posting, warn before sending if no category has been set, should do that, and also warn if the title is empty. I tend not to use extended text or excerpt, and uh, we've got keywords and tags there. And then it's also possible to set up some custom fields. I haven't tried that yet. I must give that a go. I wonder if that would work well with my all-in-one SEO system that I use. So click OK on that. Getting set up to do a new post is basically as easy as this. Click on New Post up in the top corner there. And you get this area here in which to put your, your title, your tags. This is where the text of the blog post goes and you can see that I'm working in uh, HTML there but what I generally do is to have the preview running so I can see what it's going to look like when it actually gets to the website. If I want to I can actually edit this template so I can make that template look exactly the way that the blog post is going to look like. So let's start with an image. I'm using uh, text expander there to put that in for me. Let's just find an image to put in there. Very easy if I want to choose a category or click on business or education or whichever I want and you can select more than one of those. I can take this here and I can do some formatting with it using stuff like this so if I want it in bold that will make it into bold. Put that within a paragraph of one two two so let's go up there and paragraph is this one and it would actually be quite simple for me to set up a keyboard shortcut for that if I wish and I can have a header in there too so for instance if I want to start with a header then I click on H1 and I could use option command 1 for that as well and the title of the post goes in here or the header 1 of the post I should say goes in there because the title of the post goes in this bit at the top here the tags go in here so in this one here I might put uh, Canon so it looks to the tags I've put in there previously and it will uh, auto fill as soon as I put in a comma, it actually turns it into the tag. If or while I'm working in this here, I want to have more space to work in, I can get rid of that, options. And also what I can do is add a new category in here too, cameras. So I can click on add on there. So now I've got a new category in there for cameras. So we've got the post status, it's published, except I haven't published yet, I haven't clicked on publish, but still. Publish is when you click on send to blog, but I can say that it's just going to be a draft if I wish. Text filter, don't know what that does, never used it. Comments open, trackbacks accept. So let's just uh, put this in there as a draft at the moment because I don't really want to publish that because it's only like a silly picture and stuff. I'll have to delete it afterwards if I did. I'll tell you what else we can do. Let's look at another way to put in media. So if I want to put media into this, I can go to this media tab here and within this here I can look at images and files that are published and on the amazing iPad already, except it's not showing any, it should do. And that's because I've got a sketch written in the bottom of here. So I'm doing a search there. So for instance, if I'm going to put this app logo in here, I can choose the one to align left, right, or unaligned. I can even click on edit. And when I use edit, it means I can edit the media markup. So for instance, with the line left, I can go into this bit here, edit, and uh, change the uh, details of how the image is going in there. Let's click a line on left and choose insert. So there's our post as it was going there at the moment and you can see that the photograph that I just put in there, this 
handbrake logo that is uh, gone and aligned itself to the left of this area here let's just select a bit of text just to throw it in there just to see how this is going to look this is going to be paragraph text so I need to um, put in a paragraph tags again I'm going to go to the format click on a paragraph okay so let's put a whole lot of text in there for me what I can do with this of course as well is I can take something like this here this is my previous image I can take that I can uh, cut that from there move it up to the top let's just put it in here and that's gone in there so there's my post up there even though this hasn't got the paragraph settings in there the paragraph settings have automatically been put in there and work fine really they shouldn't but they do this should all this text here should all be coming out as one main paragraph let's just do something let's just uh, do command shift and T and let's go back to this again and now you can see what's happened here is that where it hadn't got these tags in before Mars editors put those tags in there for us so so we got a P there for a paragraph tag and a paragraph tag down the bottom here those are all just put in automatically by Mars Edit that's quite a useful little trick that is isn't it so that's all about Mars Edit for the moment we'll have a look at more things to do with Mars Edit in the next video we'll be looking at how to do some formatting and so on with your text don't forget to click on the like button in YouTube to give us a bit of a rating there and also why not subscribe to the Wizard Gold channel and then you'll hear about all these videos as soon as they are ready. Bye bye now.